little bit more of a struggle, only seven points in that game for John and Musa, but so far the early returns on Musa have been pretty good as all of Nets Nation wants to see how he's doing after. Yes. For Fort Wayne, off to Johnson. Now Rob Gray thought about a three, now drives it and converts with the floater. Yeah, that's what Rob Gray does. The guy's a scorer. He had 35 points. He's 0 for 1 so far today from long range, but it hit 4 of 9 out west. Adapt or die, as he calls it. Right. Alan Williams stepping out, showing off the range as Omari Johnson shows off his. Difference in the contest. Fort Wayne 3 of 5 from long range. And they really struggled from three-point range at times on that road trip as Johnson knocks down another three. A 38-point first quarter for the Mad Ants. Hurt, so it's kind of, you know, a slow start. It's understandable maybe for a rookie as Yaliuk gets thrown down there by Fort Wayne, but yeah, he kind of came on, unfortunately had that injury right at the uh, Vegas Showcase. Point lead here to start the second quarter. Long Island has McLaughlin along with Scott, Sonogo, Creek, and Williams. Jumper good from Rob Gray for Fort Wayne. Gray, Annie Bogu, are on Rob Gray. Now Annie Bogu back to Gray, will set a screen. Gray pull up, jumper is good. Boy, he is a smooth scorer, Rob Gray out of Houston. Okara White, the steal, looking up ahead for Williams, and Gray got back to pick it off and then drew a foul on Williams. As the leaders of the Southeast Division, Fort Wayne right now leading the Central, and Raptors 905 right on Long Island's heels in the Atlantic as Gray knocks down the long two. John, any given possession. Creek is straightaway three, is short. Can't pull down the rebound. Mad Ants have numbers. Gray ahead of the pack. Gonna get it to go. Gray around the screen, the floater over Gordon goes. Nice move from Rob Gray up to 19 off the bench. Gray pull up from the free throw line, he's good. First player over 20 in the ball game is Rob Gray. I think yeah. you could play a G League game earlier in the end of the morning or the early afternoon and then play in the NBA. I mean, four. Gray kick out to Hollins, a corner three is good. 10 out of 17 from downtown for Fort Wayne. Los Angeles Lakers, they have a chance to do it too. So, but anyway, I think it speaks to where this G League is now and the caliber of player and you know how intertwined.